Are you thinking about buying a home here in Redlands, California? Well, if that's you, I want you to first be aware of both the positives and the negatives of living here in Redlands before you're making a big decision like buying a home. Hey guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Peter, a local real estate agent. If you're thinking about making a move to Redlands, pick up the phone, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and we will save you a ton of time and make sure that you love the home you buy here in Redlands. Now, I was born and raised here in Redlands. I've lived here pretty much my entire life. So this may come off as a little bit biased, but you know, I do understand that the city has changed quite a bit in the last 30 years especially in the last 10 to 15 years, I would say. So it might not be for everybody. So we will get to the list of pros and cons in just a minute here. But before we do that, I do wanna to just to give you some general information about Redlands before we go any further. Of course, located here in Southern California, pretty much right in the middle of Southern California, directly east from Los Angeles, directly west from Palm Springs pretty much directly in between LA and Palm Springs, actually. The 10 will, will take you straight out to Palm Springs from Redlands. We're about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on what beach you wanna go to, if you wanna take a beach day. And just about directly north of San Diego, if you're headed down to San Diego, it's probably gonna take you close to about two hours only about an hour from the mountains. Okay, so plenty of options and things to do around Redlands. Okay, Redlands is home to Redlands Unified School District. RUSD has three comprehensive high schools, four middle schools, and I think it's like 27 elementary schools. We also have Orangewood, one of the best continuation schools around as well as some online learning. If you are more in the direction of private school, there's also lots of private school options here in town. So as you can tell, lots and lots of schools, very highly rated if you go to niche.com. So definitely a very good place to raise a family if that's you. Like I said, really good location. You know, in Redlands, you could wake up make, and go to the beach. If you're more of a mountain person, you could also be up snowboarding or skiing just about an hour and a half to some of those mountain resorts. Palm Springs is only about an hour away. Redland is also home to a company called Esri. Esri is definitely one of Redland's biggest employers. Esri is a global imaging systems company. They make all kinds of software for maps, for projects all around the world, actually. Esri recruits people from almost everywhere to, to come and work for Esri in Redlands. So just, you know, it's, it's a town of just under 75,000 people. So it has that small town feel, but definitely big enough to serve its residents in terms of shopping and eating and just terms of your daily goods and services. Very close to San Bernardino, pretty big city, very close to Riverside. So definitely right in the mix in terms of Southern California as a whole. Also here in Redlands, there are tons and tons of churches. So if you are a religious person or any kind of faith that you belong to, you will definitely find it here in Redlands. There are all kinds of churches everywhere you see around town. One of the intersections in town actually has a church literally on all four corners. Redlands is also home to, I think there's only like eight, maybe nine mini temples of the Mormon faith. That was put in, I think like mid 2000s. So if you are a religious person, Redlands would definitely be a very good place for you to call home. If you found any value in the video to this point, 
please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And so let's go ahead and start our list of the pros and cons of living here in Redlands. We're gonna start on the positive side. For me, the number one pro about living here in Redlands is just the beautiful scenery with amazing weather, right? So I would say for a solid nine, sometimes even 10 months out of the year, the weather in Redlands is just absolutely beautiful. Now we do have a couple months or maybe sometimes close to three, just kind of depends on the season where July, August, and sometimes even September can really bring some pretty nasty heat. But once we get through those summer months, the weather here in Redlands is just absolutely beautiful. And you can enjoy that beautiful weather with all kinds of parks around town that we have here, all kinds of outdoor activities. Perhaps the best park we have here in Redlands is called Prospect Park. You know, very popular place for people to just relax, have a picnic, or just kind of take a stroll, early morning stroll with the dogs, or perhaps you're, you're running or walking during the afternoon. You know, it's that spot in town where all the kids like to meet there for their pictures before they go off to homecoming or prom or, or even wedding photos. You know, people are taking photos there almost all the time. So Prospect Park is definitely number one in my mind. We also have Sylvan Park right next to the University of Redlands. There's also the Smiley Park right behind the library. So just all kinds of beautiful parks as well as things to do and enjoy outdoors here in Redlands. Okay, now the second pro of living here in Redlands is the affordability compared to living, let's say, in LA somewhere, or perhaps Orange County, or down in San Diego County, Redlands is just much more affordable than those other places. Now, some of Redlands are, is still quite expensive, especially these days, the medium price being well over $600,000 still, but it's a lot more reasonable than living in Orange County or San Diego County, for example. So definitely easier to get your foot in the door just in terms of owning your home here in Redlands than a lot of other places in Southern California. Here in town, 58% of residents are homeowners versus that 42% being renters. So definitely a place where tons and tons of people love to call Redlands home. Okay, now the number three pro when it comes to living in Redlands is definitely the great schools. Like I said earlier, Redlands Unified School District, according to niche.com, has very highly rated schools, three comprehensive high schools, four middle schools, and tons of elementary schools. There's also plenty of private school options, if that's for you. Once students graduate high school, we also have Crafton Hills College just outside Redlands. Really, really good option for high school graduates. If they're not quite sure which four-year school they wanna to go to, I think Crafton Hills College is one of the top community college in terms of transfers to four-year universities. Redlands is also home to the University of Redlands, produces lots and lots of teachers, especially in their master's program. So schools is definitely a benefit of living here in Redlands. Okay, now the number four pro to living here in Redlands, for me anyway, are all of the community events that we have each year. Now the number one event that I think of is that Redlands Bicycle Classic always happens that second week of April. Starts on a Wednesday, goes all the way to Sunday. There's races right outside Redlands, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That Saturday morning, there's all kinds of little races for the kids as well as adults if you wanna give it a go. All kinds of live music, 
beer gardens, wine gardens, all kinds of activities for the family that Saturday and Sunday. The Sunday race for the, for the professionals, for the men and women, starts downtown, then heads up to the hills of Redlands where they do about 15 laps, I think, and then race downtown. The first weekend of March, we always have a run through Redlands that has the half marathon, 10K, 5K, as well as some other races for the kids. The first Sunday in October, we have the Believe Walk in support of breast cancer. Memorial Day weekends, there's also the Redlands Art Show as well as Car Show. So as you can tell, there's just all kinds of events that are always happening in Redlands, especially downtown. So definitely for me, a pro to live in, in Redlands. Okay, we are on to pro number five, and that is Redlands location, right? I kind of talked about this earlier in the intro, but here in Redlands, we're only about an hour from the beach, an hour from the mountains, an hour from the desert. If you want to make a drive up the 15, you're only about three, three and a half hour drive from Las Vegas. So, you know, there's something for everybody living here in Southern California. You know, I think that's why some of the professional sports teams don't have perhaps the greatest fan bases here in Southern California is because there's always something to do. Right. So if you're not completely devoted to your team, you know, you could just find something else to do in, in sunny Southern California. There's pretty much always going to be something for you. So definitely a pro to living here in Redlands. OK, now what are the negatives? What are the cons of living here in Redlands? Now, for me, the number one thing is dealing with traffic. All right, now this has changed even the last, you know, 15, 20 years. Redlands is right next to San Bernardino, you know, very close to Riverside and Moreno Valley. The 10 goes right through Redlands. So it's, it's a huge trucking route for all kinds of commerce. So if you're not used to living in Southern California with a good amount of traffic, it may be a real wake up call if you're moving from somewhere else where the traffic just isn't an issue, okay? So just kind of take a deep breath, plan out your day trips, you know, know when the best time to make your commute is gonna be. Always use, you know, your Apple Maps, Google Maps, whatever you prefer to use on your, on your phone because traffic is just something you just gotta deal with living in Southern California as a whole, and then here in Redlands on a daily basis. Now, number two con, and this is very much tied uh, to, the, to number one, is, you know, there's not a ton of public transportation available here in Redlands. You know, we do have the public bus, and there is the, the new Aero train but the reality is not too many people take that train and the overwhelming majority of the population just drive themselves everywhere. So it just contributes to even more traffic since we don't have a ton of public transportation. So something that you just kind of have to uh, deal with living here in Redlands. Now the next con of living in Redlands, number three I want to talk about is just a huge eyesore downtown is the old Redlands Mall. There has been, you know, decades worth of back and forth voting and, and deciding what's going to happen with the old Redlands Mall. If you know nothing about it, I actually have another video that explains it in a little bit more detail. But basically, the Redlands Mall has been shut down for about 20 years. Okay. And there's still part of it still in function, this CVS and its pharmacy right there, but the rest of it is just an abandoned building, right? And so what's gonna happen? Apparently there's gonna be a whole, it's called uh, State Street Village, and there's gonna be like 700 apartments and all kinds of shopping and restaurants coming in. 
But the big question is, you know, when is that happening? So that's been something that Redlands residents have just kind of had to deal with the last almost 20 years. And definitely something that not everybody is in support of in terms of building more apartments, more shopping, more restaurants. So we'll just have to wait and find out what happens with that area where the Redlands Mall used to be. But I would say definitely still, and but hopefully not for too much longer, a negative to living here in Redlands. And the next con I wanna talk about is, you know, Redlands is still a fairly small town, small city. So you might not be able to find the kind of job you're looking for here in Redlands. You may need to mute to LA or to Ontario or to Riverside or, or elsewhere, depending on your profession. You know, I, I joke quite a bit with one of my buddies who's a, who, he's a CPA and I've been trying to, uh, only half joking really, uh, trying to get him to move back to town, but it just wouldn't work with his job, with the company that he's worked for, you know, since college. So depending on your career, depending on your profession, you may have to either deal with a pretty big commute uh, or if you can get away with working from home two or three times out of the week. For you, I don't know what that, what that looks like, but you might not be able to find perfect job that you're looking for here in Redlands. All right, guys, there you have it. The pros and cons of living in Redlands. If you wanna learn even more about Redlands, then click on the video on your screen right now.